Stay tuned to find out how you can win a mystery box curated by your girl. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, today we just gonna kinda get ready, okay? We're gonna get ready and try some of these products that I've been receiving but have yet to use. Not everything is going to be new. Some of these are gonna be repeats, but a lot of these products are things that I have received but have not used. So I'm ready to dive on in and see what these products are working with. The first new product that I'm actually gonna try is the Meadow Rose and Strobe. And this is by Seraphine Botanicals. And this is what it looks like. And this is just like a primer. It's a primer and it's one of those cute ones so you can look like Instagram people, okay? That might be too much, I don't know. It might be looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> Things like this are very satisfying to just kinda <laughs> I really want to get that for Sally. I had that when I was in China and it was just so luxurious. I haven't seen it since I've been back in the States though. This stuff is kind of like adding a little bit of a glow and I definitely put too much on. Yeah, this stuff adds like a nice like glow. I mean, my skin was already kind of glowing, but now this is like luminous. You know, you got glow and then you got luminous. It feels really good on my skin, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely scented. It's like a sweet scent, you know, almost like candy. It's a sweet scent, so I don't mind it. Now, if it was floral, girl, no thank you. I am not a fan of floral scents. It's just, it's no for me, dog. Now, I'm actually going to use my Charlotte Tilbury, this little fancy, fancy, schmancy foundation. I, I don't really use her as much because this one is like a dewy kind of foundation, and I personally prefer when it's a matte finish. That's just my thing. Nothing necessarily against the makeup itself, Self. It's just a personal preference. I really want to watch that documentary, Quiet on Set. Like I want to watch it, but then part of me doesn't want to watch it because I feel like my childhood will be ruined because I grew up on shows like All That and The Amanda Bynes Show. And I just, I loved Nickelodeon back in the day. So it's going to hurt my soul to find out all the bull that was going on behind the scenes. This is the... I forget what brand this was. This is some base. Almost dropped it. Something basic. Oh, I already got it dirty. <laughs> Beauty basics or something like that. I really want to watch it, but then at the same time, I don't. It's going to leave like a tainted image on my childhood, right? Like all the shows that I watch, it's going to be hard to feel the same way about them because you know what all those children were going through. It's going to be very difficult, very difficult to go back to the way it was, you know, thinking about those shows because behind every joke, you know, there's a lot of trauma, especially when it comes to mind of uh, mind. Amanda Bynes. I loved her growing up. Like, she was that girl. She was always just so freaking funny. And it's just sad to see, you know, how everything played out and how she was on drugs and just all sorts of crazy stuff. And then a few weeks ago, she came out saying that she wanted to open up a nail salon and like a lot of people were on the internet clowning her. I didn't like that. I'm like, leave my leave my good sis alone. Okay, she been through a lot, obviously. Next is my She Glam. I actually really like this concealer. It brightens me up really nicely and it just, it goes into the skin beautifully. I want to wash it, but then at the same time I don't because it's just going to make all my childhood memories of watching Nickelodeon trash. Maybe that's a little selfish of me, but I, I, I am going to watch it. I am going to watch it because they deserve to be heard, right? Like all the things that they've been through, they deserve to have their stories heard and the people that wronged them need to be shamed for everything that they did to those children. I do not like any story where a child is harmed or a child is mistreated because it's like children are innocent. They don't do anything to deserve the BS that happens to them. Whenever it comes to like children, I have a very big soft spot. They don't deserve to be mistreated. All they deserve is a loving family that is going to raise them right and take care of them. So it really hurts my soul to find out that the children I grew up watching as a child were being abused by all these adults. And it's like, where were the parents? You know what I mean? Like, I'd be thinking, like, why weren't your parents advocating for you? Why weren't they protecting you? I just, I don't understand. Because it's like, if I were to put Bella into something, I'm going to be on everybody like white on rice. Ain't no way you going somewhere with my baby and I'm not there to keep an eye on her. Ain't no way you're going to be putting my baby in no situation that is not favorable to her. Ain't no, 
way. There's no amount of money that would allow me to do that. So my brain just cannot process how the parents of all these children stars just allowed all that BS to happen to them. I just, I, I don't understand. These children were not protected by the people that should be protecting them the most. It makes sense why old girl titled her titled her book the way she did. I forget what her name is, but you know, the, the lady, she was on that show with Ariana Grande. I never watched that show. That was outside of my time on, you know, Nickelodeon and all that stuff. I wasn't watching channels like that. I was too busy watching like, what, Flavor of Love? <laughs> I had moved on to VH1 and MTV by the time that show came out. So I really wasn't watching whatever show Ariana Grande was on. I, I wasn't watching it. So I can't really speak on that show, nor can I really remember the name of the young lady that wrote that book. I find it so disgusting. As a parent, you have one job, okay? You have one job, protect your baby. And to see that these kids were not protected is very disheartening. We're all just watching it thinking it's all fun and games time they were hurting. Those kids were going through a lot. So I have a lot of empathy for what they went through. And I hope that the laws are revised so that children are more protected. I know in Illinois, they passed some laws to protect children from, you know, social media. So basically in Illinois, the way they have it set up is if you are like a parent and you want to put your child on social media to make money off of them, because that's what they do. You know, they put their child on there to make money and content. If you're going to do that, you have to pay your child for their services, right? Like you have to pay them and you can't have them on camera for a certain amount of time. There's a limit to it. And this is just my lunar beauty. This stuff is so good. But yeah, they passed some laws to protect to protect children from clout chasing parents that want to use them for, for content creation. I'm not against it, but at the same time, why aren't you breaking off your child some of that money you're getting in? Because like if I were to do video with Bella and it made, you know, serious money, like I had Bella on on the channel, but have earned like literal sense from those videos. But if I were to make like an exorbitant amount of money using content with my daughter, best believe she getting paid. She getting paid. And I'm not counting the money that I would spend on her just as a parent in that calculation. Like I'm not putting that in the calculation for what my daughter is being paid. At the end of the day, it's work. Even if she don't know it's work, even if she just thinks it's a regular day and we just doing regular stuff, it's still work. I really, really hope that more states follow suit and do that to protect the children and make sure that they're being paid, make sure that they're being compensated for their time. Because a lot of these parents, they see children are a gold mine. The videos with children get a lot of views. You know, unfortunately that leads to a lot of mistreatment treatment, exploitation. I really hope that the states do more work to try to protect children. Next, I'm actually gonna get into another new new. If you watched my She Glam haul, I did get this cute blush. This one I haven't tried yet. And this one is like the really pretty peachy, just gorgeous sunset color. I absolutely adore this and I'm so excited to try it. Oh yeah. Come to mama. I love that. I forgot to bronze. <laughs> I just realized that I skipped bronzing and went straight, straight to the blush. I need to get my bronze on. That is so pretty. Borderline jigsaw. Y'all know how I like it. And the next thing is this bronzer by Estate. This isn't new. I've used her plenty of times before, I think on the channel. If not, then hey, it's bronzer. I love her. She's really good. I'm going to watch it because they deserve to have their story heard. And kudos to all of them for sticking up for themselves. Because it's got to be difficult to finally come out and say like, hey, this is what happened to me. That's a very difficult thing to do. So kudos to them for standing up for themselves and speaking out. And what's crazy is that I don't even think the weirdos that were doing that stuff to them are in jail. Like, I don't think all of them are locked up and they need to be, they need to be. There shouldn't be any statue of limitation when it comes to children. The next product is actually gonna be this highlighter by Persona. Have not used her on the channel, I don't believe. This is what she looks like, very, very beautiful. Oh yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, boy. Y'all see that? I am like golden with that highlighter. Okay, easily a new favorite. Next, I'm going to use my Physician's Formula. I don't have any new eyebrow products to try. I always hate drawing on my eyebrows because I always feel like I'm messing them up. So far, everything has been working really good. 
To celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm hosting a special giveaway exclusively for the Faybays. Fill out the entry form located in the description below and leave a comment on any of my videos between now and April 4th for your chance to win a mystery box curated by your girl. Two winners will be chosen at random. Remember, only one submission per subscriber. Now back to the video. Now for the really fun part. Y'all, I've been so excited to get into this palette ever since I unboxed it. Now, if y'all don't remember, this is what she looks like. Absolutely stunning. Now to figure out what I want my look to look like. While I figure that out, I am gonna go ahead and put down a transition shade. I'm gonna go in with this one. Ice Cream Beauty always comes through. And I think my bag is actually coming today. She is late, but I think that was on the fault of the shipping company. For the longest, my package just was saying en route with no updates. No updates, none whatsoever. It was officially late yesterday. So I filed a little claim thing to have them investigated. And lo and behold, they found my package and it should be arriving today. So obviously I'm not gonna unbox it today because I like to do a try on when I do my ice cream beauty box. I will open that at a later time, probably tomorrow. I feel like there's just so many purpley kind of colors going on that I might just have to do the purple. Even though I feel like I've been doing purple a lot lately. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the purple. So I'm gonna dip into this bad boy right here. Deepen that up a bit. It looks really good. I'm gonna definitely have to go back and diffuse that a little bit. Y'all, life without a gallbladder, <laughs> boy. They make it seem like when you lose your gallbladder, like it's no big deal. I'm here to tell you it is. It's definitely a big deal. Don't let them confuse you and tell you, oh, just go about your regular day-to-day -day life. Uh, absolutely not. It is a struggle every day when it comes to relieving myself. I'll just say that. And then I'm gonna go back into, what color is that, this one? Don't let them lead you to believe that getting your gallbladder removed is just no big deal. People get it done all the time. And while that may be true, having your gallbladder removed is still a big deal. Your gallbladder is so important for digestion. It's so important for getting the nutrients out of your food. Cause like without your gallbladder, you know, you're not having that high concentration of bile. What people don't realize is that if you don't have a high enough concentration of bile, you're not gonna be able to get the nutrients from your food, right? Like you're not gonna be able to get the nutrients from your food, you're gonna be struggling. I've been kind of struggling when it comes to the movements, okay? We're just gonna refer to them as the movements. It's very uncomfortable, I'm not even gonna lie. It's extremely, extremely uncomfortable at times. My body is still adjusting. Some people don't adjust, right? Like some people, they'll be struggling with the issues that I'm having for the rest of their lives. So don't let them talk you into just getting it removed willy-nilly, okay? If it has to go, it has to go. I'm not saying keep your gallbladder if it's hurting you. I'm not saying that because I know how that pain is. It sucks, but weigh your options. I'm gonna put this all over the lid because this was gorgeous when I swatched her. Y'all, if you haven't watched Blood and Water, I'm here to put you on. That show is so freaking good. I got Justin to watch it with me because I'd already seen the first season. Like I saw it a long time ago, but I hadn't watched like all the newer, all the newer stuff. I had only seen the first season. So I got Justin to watch it with me and we were hooked, okay? We were hooked and we finally finished the last season that they have up, which actually came out this year. So it's an up to date season well series season and series i guess the show is just so freaking good 10 out of 10 recommend it it's well written the acting is pretty decent the storyline is captivating they just they did a really good job with the show i want them to have more seasons please don't be over and it shouldn't be over i think the way they left the season the last season it, they could keep going right like they could definitely keep going. I think it looks okay. You know, my glasses off, it looked pretty good. I'm actually gonna put this in the inner corner. Y'all know I love a good inner corner moment. 
Ooh, that inner corner is popping. I think I'm actually gonna put this one underneath my eyes. Just to add another dimension to the look. Next, I'm actually gonna try another new product. And this is actually an eyeliner. Actually, I got two new eyeliners I'm gonna try out. And this is the one by Duce or Dolce or something like that, Duce, I don't know. Dolce, Duce, I don't know if I'm putting it this way or that way. That thing was stuck. This is just like a little eyeliner. Now, I'm not gonna use this to do like a wing or anything. I'm actually going to go like this. I used to do this technique all the time when I was in high school. Like it just adds more depth to your eye. You see how I just like made this eye look a little deeper than this one? Now for another new product. And this is actually the Defiance Beauty Eyeliner. This is that girl, okay? When I did the try on and I did my little swipey swipe, she went on so smooth and beautifully. Chef's kiss. I'm just gonna use this to, to line my eyes. You know, put the eyes in line. This eye always turns out better than the other one. I don't know what that is. I think that's good. I don't want to add anything else to like underneath the eye. I don't want it to like close off my eye. I like to leave it a little bit, you know, more open looking. I want to get like a white eyeliner that I can put in my waterline because that'll really make my eye looks pop. Next, I'm actually going to spray with my Milk Hydro Grip and just, you know, get my on. There I go, doing that mouth thing again. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with the MAC Magic Extensions. So very bristly, brushily, brush, brushily. Heck is brushily. Y'all, if you haven't seen Blood and Water, that show is so good. And Justin and I actually started watching Gentlemen. That show looks really good as well. It's actually a really good mascara, you see? Like, you can already see my eyelashes. Usually it takes like two or three coats before you see my eyelashes. Ooh, I actually look like I have eyelashes. I'm gonna just go all out today. Probably won't do any more coats of this because then it'll probably start to clump. I'm actually gonna go in with this Maybelline Sharp Lip Liner in the color Total Toffee. It's just a regular little lip liner, gel liner like this. The last new thing that we're gonna, actually the last thing in general that we're gonna try is this Ofra Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Blissful. We got this in our glam bag and I've been excited to try her out. Ooh, I'll see that. A lot of products came out, like man. It's like more products leaking out. Bruh, it's just like leaking out, even though I'm not squeezing it. I don't like that. It's giving early 2000s. I think that's pretty. Does it go with the eye look? I don't know. <laughs> But from here, it looks really cute. And I am gonna live stream tonight. Well, this video is gonna come out way after I live stream, but I am gonna put a little card on one of these sides right here so that you can check out the live stream if you would like. Your girl plays Fortnite, okay? I'm getting my gang gang on. This is the final look. I liked everything that I tried. The only thing that was a bit concerning was this because it just keeps leaking out. Like, I don't know, they must have had like some kind of packaging issue with this because it's just like, I don't even squeeze it. And it's just like the pressure has built up so much in this that it's just 
oozing out uncontrollably, which sucks because you're gonna end up with extra products on your face that you didn't want there. Yeah, other than that, I liked pretty much everything else. I mean, the color is pretty. I love the lip gloss itself. It was just packaged poorly. And to be honest, I still have so much more makeup that I've yet to try out. So I will be doing another try on at a later point in time, not right now, but I will do a try on later on trying some more of the different makeup items that I've received. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank you.